Magic Adventures here. <clears throat> Been off the air for a little bit. Um, uh, it's winter, uh, end of financial year. I work in data and everything like that. Just been a bit too busy, family life, and hands playing up. So I haven't been able to play any games. Um, been doing plenty of programming though. I um, just haven't had time to make videos, but I will get back to that soon. So I've actually had the items here for two weeks. And I'm very excited about them. Um, I'll show you a little unboxing here, which is a live unboxing that my daughter took. These, this box down here, is of course the physical copies of my new book. Um, and it's no other than the classic game programming on the NES. Um, I've been working on the book for, uh, you know, close uh, to 18 months since it first started. And it's fantastic to finally have physical copies. Um, what I'll do, I'll put, uh, I'll put it on a table, and we'll do a bit of a flick through as well after this. Um, but I just wanted to show you all uh, the physical um, copies, and now here, uh, it's got some lovely uh, back quotes there from um, various different people, which very much appreciate them doing that. Um, and a wonderful forward by the Oliver Twins. They gave us a back quote and they also wrote a fantastic forward. Uh, we'll have a little bit of a look with the flip through in a minute. Um, and if you haven't, if you are interested in programming games for the NES, this is a complete beginner's guide. You don't need to know uh, assembly language. It takes you through step by step and you, you actually learn assembly language enough to get it by. And then we basically approach a game bit by bit section by section as we go through so at the end of it you've got a little simple game to play and you've had some fun and you've learnt about the NES console and how to program games for it. It's been very well received so far I've actually sold way more copies than I was expecting um, and um, yeah, now you can get it in physical print form um, and you can still buy it electronically as well um, uh, I'll put up on the screen here there's a special code uh, which is my special discount code where you get 35% off either the print or the electronic edition. Uh, it actually gives you 35% off the whole Manning store. Manning's the publisher. Uh, so you can buy other books from Manning too, as well, obviously. My main interest is my book. Um, I will look at doing some more books in the future. Um, this is my um, third published book now. Um, and um, yeah, really enjoyed putting this one together. A lot of work has gone into this. It's been checked by lots of different people and and um, uh, you know worked through so that it is as you know as good as you can. There's also a support website where you can download the code. It's all in a, a GitHub repository. Um, and um, you know any erratas and things like that. Not that we found any so far. Uh, will, will be online. And as I said, you can uh, buy the combo version where you get the physical copy of the book and you get an electronic version as well that you can read on your device. Um, I do have a limited quantity here uh, that I'll be putting up on my website shortly for signed copies. Um, obviously, it's a book. It's a little bit heavier, so that's going to cost a little bit more to post from Australia, but that's where I live, so that's the only place signed copies can come from. Um, I did go to the US earlier in the year, unfortunately, the printed book was not ready by then, so um, I may be able to travel to the US or UK next year. We'll just have to wait and see. I we'll have a daughter having a wedding in January, um, so it depends on how the finances go and timing and things like that. Uh, but never say never. I would love to go to the UK to personally thank the Oliver Twins uh, for contributing to the book as well. All right, we will switch views and we'll just have a bit of a quick flip, flick through of the book. Right, here we go. We're using a mobile phone, which is hopefully better quality than my old webcam. Um, so it's obviously when you buy the physical book, you um, get the electronic version as well. Uh, we have little inserts here. This is the structure of a game. So written by me, forward by Philip and Andrew Oliver, the Oliver twins over in the UK. And we have uh, 16 chapters plus three appendixes and a lot of detail in there. We have this absolutely magnificent forward 
written by the Oliver Twins. They were very enthusiastic. They were very prolific programmers. They released a lot of pro t uh, titles for the NES, so they were very happy to do that. Um, a bit of a preface, which talks about <coughs> my history, um, and then we have about this book, about what we're going to learn in the book, and all the support materials. Uh, a little bit of thing about the colour illustration. Many books have got these very strange covers, but that's okay. A little mug shot from me. And then we get into Let's Program Games. So the game uh, talks about the, the structure of the NES, and the game simple game we're going to do is Astro Blast, because it's a simple game and allows us to go through mechanics and focus on that. Uh, a bit more on the NES architecture, 6502 Assembler, and the structure of a game. I'm just going to flick through fairly quickly here. We talk about how the screen is laid out. And then we have a chapter on getting set up, which is the various tools you can use on modern machines. Now the book is in black and white. There are three colour pages in here. Here's one. Um, interesting what they used the extra ones for. There's one page that shows the NES palette which really needed to be in colour so that was good. And then there are two chapters on 6502 Assembler. Um, obviously those that know 6502 Assembler can skip those two chapters but those that don't um, we take it through step by step. I have an online simulator as well so you don't have to do, use anything too complicated to run through and do exercises uh, that explains the simulator there. And we go through all the various step uh, parts of the 6502. I'll, I'll skip forward a little bit now. And you can use just the simulator online to go through and do the exercises. Um, all right, let's do some maths. So there is, you know, there is a fair bit on 6502. There we go. And the book structure is all very well laid out. Now starting something, so this is where we get something up and running on the NES, just all the things you've got to do to set up your, you know, configure your game, just taking you through step by step. And it's got lots of nice little uh, comments in the code, so everything is really clearly explained. Uh, you know, reading the gamepad, displaying something on the screen, how to compile the code, and then you have a program running. And then we get into starting our games. As I said, I'm not going to flip all the way through, um, but it takes you through step by step. collision detection, how to keep score, um, lives, designing your graphics, adding more enemies and more logic to the enemies. You know, and everything is diagrammed and um, it's take, you're taken through step by step. Um, animating things, Uh, changing the palette, you know, cycling the palette and things like that. Um, and then we get into sound effects. Talk about how sound is generated, take you through one of the tools to use to generate your sound effects. How to export those and include them in your code. Um, and then we have a chapter on music. I am not an expert in music, but uh, just take you through the tools, how you can generate some music, and then we've got a chapter on where to from here, so what you can do, what, what you could do to extend the game, or other different types of games, we talk about how the NES uh, can be expanded with its, through its cartridge port, and how you can publish your game, and what other types of genres you've got. We talk a a little bit about how the NES scrolls as well. Um, we have an extended appendix on getting set up in different environments for Windows, Linux and that. Memory mappers, which are the way to extend 
a Nintendo. And our final appendix is a full memory and I.O. map. All right, we'll, we'll close on the back cover there. So uh, I said, hope you've enjoyed this quick look at my book and I'm really excited to have it in physical uh, print form finally after all this time. Um, barcode there if you want to look it up but that you can find it on the Manning site. I'll put links down below. Um, and yeah, and more videos from me soon. Um, uh, uh, things should be clearing up and I should be able to get some time into some videos. All right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.